container technology, like Docker, is becoming an increasingly important part of many development and deployment workflows. For C++ development, it can be useful to hold your toolchain in a container. Whether to simplify everyone on a team quickly getting the same toolchain, to run different toolchains side by side, or even for cross-platform targeting. C-Line's full remote mode makes working with a Docker-based toolchain easy. You just need to make sure the container is running an SSH daemon. If you're familiar with Docker and setting up toolchains, it's fairly straightforward to do it yourself. But you might want to take a look at the example Docker file we put up on GitHub in the C-Line remote repo. Get this file either directly or by cloning the repo, or just use it for reference. The instructions for use are included in the comments at the top of the file. Of course, you'll need to have Docker installed. In most cases, your platform's preferred package manager will have it, although there are a few extra steps involved. On macOS, you'll install Docker Desktop. Windows is a little bit more involved. In any case, consult Docker's docs at docs.docker.com. They're very accessible. So with Docker installed and the Docker file somewhere locally, you can create the container. This will install all of the toolchain dependencies into the container. In the example Docker file, these are all requested using apt get. Feel free to adjust these tools in their versions. Don't worry if you don't have apt get. The container itself would be based on Ubuntu in this case, even if the host platform is different. You'll also notice that the Docker file creates a user into the container. In this example, it's called user and has the password, password. Just change that here if you'd like to use different credentials, but this is only to give you access to the toolchain from the host environment, so it needn't usually be high security. To create the container, use this Docker build line, which you can find in the comments at the top of the Docker file. Depending on your platform and how you have Docker set up, you may need to run it using sudo. This creates the container using the Ubuntu image, then installs those dependencies. If you've not used Docker before, you may be surprised how quickly this happens. Nonetheless, it'll still take a little while here, depending on your connection and host performance, so we'll skip ahead. Now the container is created, but we need to run it. We'll use this docker run line, again from the comments, which also adds the sysptrace capability, which is necessary for debugging, and exposes port 22 from inside the container as port 2222 on the host. Because ports on localhost may be reused by different containers, it's best to make sure that any cached SSH keys are cleared for the host using this line again from the comments. At this point, you can SSH into the container if you'd like. There's not much here or much to do. We're really just running the SSH daemon for C lines use. So let's set that up now. Here I have a project building locally that just prints the hosting. If we run it, we see my local hosting. Now we'll enable remote development mode. To do that, we go into settings. Search for toolchains or just go down to build execution deployment and add a remote host. I'll call this toolchain Docker, but feel free to call it what you like. If you have multiple Docker containers, for example, to be able to switch between different compiler versions, they'll each have their own toolchain entry here. To set it up, we'll need to supply the SSH config here. We're on localhost port 2222. But again, if you want different concurrent containers, you'll need to map them to different ports here and in the Docker file. Add the username and password that was specified in the Docker file. We'll now see as CLine connects into the container over SSH and probes for the installed toolchain. Because everything is installed into default locations here, it will find it all automatically. But if you have a more complicated setup, you may need to specify the locations here. And now the Dockerized toolchain is set up. That was easy. To use it in our project, we first need to create a CMake profile. CMake profiles are per project, so you'll need to do this for each project that you want to develop using a Dockerized toolchain. Add a new profile. In this case, we'll make a debug profile. Select the toolchain we created and set any other options you might need and we're done. The CMake project will then reload. At this point, you might see a message like this saying that a higher version of CMake is required. The version of CMake that AppGet in Ubuntu 18.04 installs is 3.10.2. If you created a project in CLine locally, it probably specifies a more recent version. If you don't need a more recent CMake version, the simplest thing to do is just to set that version back at the top of the CMake file. Alternatively, you could build CMake from source in the container or use a different base image. 
That's beyond the scope of this simple introduction, so I'll leave that as an exercise and we'll just change the CMake version here. At this point, it will take a moment for the files to be transferred as everything gets mirrored into the container. If you have a large project, this may take a lot longer the first time. Once done, you'll be able to select the CMake profile in the Run Config dropdown. We can now build and run in our container. Because we're printing the host name here, we now get this randomly assigned host name that Docker has provided. If you like, we can rebuild the container and specify a host name on the Docker command line when we run it. If you change the container like this, you'll have to reload the CMake project before you can continue in CLine. So there we have it. CLine easily set up to use a toolchain running in Docker, which you can now easily share in a version control, update, or create parallel copies of with different versions of the compiler or other parts of the toolchain. If you don't already have CLine, want to give this a try, download a 30-day free trial now and get going.